Does it hurt? My arm. Yeah. Can you still feel pain? Where the machine begins, at my shoulder. I can feel a little sensation, but no. No pain. Sometimes I think... Never mind. What? It's a fireproof door. It's not like we're going anywhere. We might as well fill up the time with something. Sometimes I think... I think that it was just a dream. I can take off the modification and still find my arm there inside. But the memory of my arm, how it felt to feel the weight by my side, and the blood flow. It's just a ghost now. It's not real. Look at the bright side. You could have lost a lot worse. <laughs> That's true. And now I have the strength to crush my enemies. As soon as I'm allowed back on the Tycan field, I'll show that cocky jackass that sliced off my limbs just exactly what I'm capable of. I'll crush his skull with my robotic hand and then hold his brains in the other so I can remember the true feeling of victory. They're allowing Cyborg kind to play Tycan. They created us. What else can they do? It will bring new meaning to the word Violet. That should bring in the crowds. I look forward to it. What about you? When you make fire, does it hurt? Every time. Is that the door? It must be Fenway and Hemlock trying to get out. Stephen Bramwell, what are you doing here? You're either very brave or extremely thick coming in here unarmed. You can't cripple Shire's powers so easily as mine. Yes, I do look unarmed, don't I? I, I can see why you'd make that mistake. But the weapon I have is one of my favourites for just that reason. I very rarely leave it behind because it is so very rare. The weapon you cannot see is wrist-mounted. It has two functions. One, it is fitted with a launcher capable of projecting small weapons such as knives, arrow tips and biochemical pellets. Secondly, and perhaps most useful of all, is the collapsible sword which retracts and conceals itself under my sleeve. In order to access the sword, I simply need to Lick my wrist. See? My power is a little more flamboyant. I should point out that I have no problem carving my way around this room. It's quite obvious you're no real threat to me, as your comrades didn't even see fit to release you before coming after us. You don't know what you're talking about. Shia, don't listen. They're already in the building. They have been for some time. They wouldn't abandon us, would they? I'll tell you what. Since I am a gentleman, I will give you two options. One, you gather your friend, or what parts of him are left, and you go back to your headquarters, leaving Hemlock and Fenway to us. Or two, you refuse to retreat, and the first thing I do is slice off your hands at the wrist. I'm not overly acquainted with recent pyrokinetic theory, but I'm interested to learn just how much thermal energy you make with a distracted blood flow. And what if she just burns your face off right now? Or go down swinging. All the scientists in the world couldn't put you back together. Shall? We'll go. But this isn't over. Your time is coming. You mark my words. She'll have her moment, our queen, and you won't know what's hit you. You better help him up. I should have mentioned, there's a time limit on your escape. The angels will fall, and the world will belong to us. Time to set those students free. should learn how to use this. What the hell is going on? The fire alarm's overridden the emergency shutdown for the building. We've lost our hostages. They've not got past me. I know they're here. I can smell them. And can't you do something about that annoying sound? I can't, but my army knife can. Wrinklers I can get used to. All it does is rain in this country. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we found them. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to knock it over. The, the screw dropped. I, I banged my head and then it was just badness. Are you almost done? Who's behind door number three? Yeah, almost. I'll go out there and try and hold them off. Hey, what? You've got insurance on this plane, right? Simple no would have done. Are you looking for me? Not ultimately, no. But you have that pesky habit of getting in our way. What do you want with these people? They can be of no use to you. They are of use. Simply because you want them, and we take what you want. Oh, 
Oh, so this is the mission dedicated to spiting me? And your father. What about my father? That's enough, Hemlock. She's delaying us. We end this now. I won't let you pass me. You won't have a choice. I won't let you pass me. We'll see. I won't let you pass me! Why are you not dead? I am my father's daughter. And while there is breath left in my body, I will not let you pass me! That's right, bitch. Down on your knees. Hemlock, gut her like a pig. My pleasure. You know, seeing you submit like that kind of turns me on. Can you hear that? <laughs> That's the sound of your face. Cyan! Get away from her! <laughs> so easily distracted. I will finish this. What the... What's wrong with this thing? I think you'll look just fine. Stay down! Let's see how you do without the cops. Steven! You see, by cutting off your air supply, your whole body goes weak. Your strength dies and oxygen becomes the priority. All those little knives are suddenly not so important, are they? Let him be. We've got to go. If we leave them, they'll keep chasing us. And we'll keep beating them back. Stephen, remember who you are. Don't let them change you. I'm... I'm... I'm not a murderer. No, you're not. I've got one hell of a right hook, though. Come on. Well, I'm not an expert, but I think that was pretty close. That gun's a bitch. She had me worried there for a second. So why don't you just kick her ass? You must always leave room for fault. There were two of them. I couldn't be sure one of them wouldn't get past me. Fighting's not always the answer. You took all that torture just to save me? It's my job. Don't let her fool you. She also wanted to test the gun so she could grab sufficient data from its capacity. When we get back home, she'll start working on developing her immune system against direct energy. Oh. Well, so what's your feeling special? Thanks. Anyway, you stopped the gun from working, didn't you? I might have. How is that possible? Oh. Energy reflection. It's so simple that you can find it on a Yu-Gi-Oh card. You see, everything works on a frequency. Luckily for you, I just isolate the frequency to operate your plane, so stopping the gun was child's play. Once I had the plane on the ground, I just rechanneled the Wii controller to the nearest pure energy source. How exactly did you get the plane on the ground? I can see we'll be having a lot of these kind of conversations now. Should have let the gun kill me. Well, once I managed to tap into a visual source, your CCTV's crap by the way. I, I can operate that for you. I would use the nunchuck for the weekend to Good morning, Dana. I'm glad to see that yesterday's uh, events haven't disheartened you. No, sir. Terrible thing, terrorism. But we're lucky that no one got too hurt. Uh, oh, what's that you've got there? Kyron Fisher's bag. He left it behind. Ah, Kyron. Well, he's not coming back. We can't have people running out of class getting mixed up in God knows what. I'll put it in my office for you. He may come back for it, although I doubt it. But what? Sir Kyleson... Uh, get, get to class, Dana. But sir, I don't understand. Are you Dana Donahue? Who are you? My name is James Black. Tell me, Dana. Do you like limos? Not especially. Get in. My lady would like to meet you. I don't think so. I'm late for class. Get ah! in the ah! car! Help! Help! Someone help me! Ah! Ah! Ah!